Welcome to a Victorian Christmas dinner. Hello, my name is Christine and I am a docent at the Ellsworth Homestead, known as Elmwood in Windsor, Connecticut. This past Christmas, we celebrated a Victorian Christmas at Elmwood with tours open to the public. Your dinner hosts for this occasion are the son and daughter-in-law of Elmwood's original owner, Revolutionary War patriot Oliver Ellsworth. Their names are Martin and Sophia Walcott Ellsworth, and they were living at Elmwood during the reign of England's Queen Victoria, 1837 to 1901. Early America did not generally celebrate Christmas as a festive day, but Queen Victoria's family holidays and Charles Dickens' book A Christmas Carol, among other influences, helped popularize it. President Grant declared it a national holiday in 1870. Christmas dinner was the highlight, served after church around 2 p.m. A roasted turkey, considered essentially American, was the focus, served with oysters, an available and popular symbol of the winter holiday season. Other dishes might include leek soup, halibut, duck, potatoes, vegetables, rice croquettes, baked macaroni, and cranberry sauce, with, of course, dessert and festive drinks. Plum pudding, nuts, and fruits were served with coffee and warm, spicy drinks like mulled wine and fruitcake. Made with dried fruits, dried lemony citron, and rum, fruitcakes then and now were designed to last for years. Please keep in mind, though, that Elmwood holidays were not always the same tradition for everyone. Families with less wealth had fewer options, and wealthier families likely had a more lavish meal. I hope you have enjoyed this short trip to the past at the Oliver Ellsworth Homestead. When we are open, please consider visiting and learning about one of Windsor's most illustrious citizens who served as a drafter of the Constitution, U.S. Senator, and Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Elmwood is owned and maintained by the Connecticut Daughters of the American Revolution.